Well, I have a, a picture of my dad here, and uh, we talk a little bit about uh, farming. Uh, that in the, and this picture was taken probably, I, I kind of guess, about early, early 40s. And at that time, we, um, that was before the time of hybrid corn. And this is what we call open pollinated corn. And there was no hybrid seed. The seed for this corn was taken from the crop before, when we picked the best ears, the biggest ears, and pulled the husk back, and, and, and uh, most of the time we hung it in, uh, in a room upstairs in the farm, so it would for a real dry place. And uh, that was the seed corn that we picked from the crop before, the year before. What was a hybrid? And, was a hy there, was, there was no hybrid in those days. Does a hybrid grow a lot hot, taller now? or? And this corn is probably, it looked, my dad was probably about six feet tall. Mm -hmm. And from the look of this, it could be probably between seven and eight feet tall, the corn. Mm -hmm. And the cobs, the size of the cobs, are quite large. There was, mm -hmm. there was large crops. And this corn was raised, what they call organic farming now, or sustainable farming. There was no chemicals involved. The, it was crop rotation and, and um, fertilizing from our own animals, cattle, horses, and hogs, and whatever on the farm. That was a fertilizer. Mm -hmm. And then we plowed down what they call green manure. That would be like alfalfa, uh, sudan grass, sweet clover, and they'd have uh, sometimes uh, uh, plant that in among the grain and it would come up in the grain and when they plowed it we'd get all that they call them legumes in those days and uh, that was really help to uh, keep the soil soft and loose and it uh, put a lot of nut all the nutrients into the soil back in the soil and of course we plowed everything down the, the, the um, wheat stubble and the oat stubble and the flax stubble and or barley, whatever he raised. And then the corn was left standing in the field in the winter to collect snow and to keep the soil from drifting. And then in the, in the spring we worked the field up and planted small grain like wheat, oats, barley, flax, one year, and then the next year it would be corn. We never had the same crop. And by doing that, you plowed down a lot of the, um, of the stalks and stubble to enrich the soil and keep it loose. And it also would um, probably take care of a lot of the insects and whatever that was in the soil, like corn borers and all that, they would disturb that. So when they just did it in the spring, it would, it would disturb anything that was hatching in the soil. I think we could ever and, go... And uh, that's, uh, this is what we call sustainable farming, but that was all the farming. And this is the way we learned to farm. When we went to high school, we went to um, um, agriculture class. Mm -hmm. You think we could well, ever think we could ever get back to that? Well, right now, as far as I know, I, I read about sometimes they say there's um, probably the uh, in Minnesota, they probably sort of with three thousand sustainable farming operations, mm -hmm. and they have an asso association they call sustainable. So some people are doing it, so they aren't spending any money on chemicals. Mm -hmm for spraying, for weeds, and for what. So they cultivate and kill weeds like we used to do, continuous cultivating the corn and work in the land to keep the weeds down. And some, there are some farmers doing now. 
their yield isn't as great as when you, when you put all the chemicals on it. They have herbicide and pesticide and all kinds of side. Sometimes we call it suicide. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, yeah, uh, that's been the change. But it still works. The sustainable and organic farming still works. The mm -hmm. yield isn't as great. You, you don't get as many bushels of corn or wheat or whatever you're raising that way. But your overhead is much less, so it's, it doesn't cost you much. And I've talked to farmers that have been doing that. And, uh, and they say it does work. And they said their end result at the end, the bottom line, you could probably, by keeping the overhead down as low as you can, your profit margin might be about the same on an acre.